Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Paolo Stanley, and on this session we're going to learn my favorite and most useful Sketch keyboard shortcuts. And these keyboard shortcuts just make my life easier and just like help me on my workflow. So hopefully they'll help you too. Let's get learning. Okay, so let's start with some simple shortcuts, like uh, some basic ones. So for example, uh, to create a new artboard, you press A, and then you can just start drawing, or you can press A and then select one of the uh, default sizes that are here that Sketch gives you. So let's start drawing our artboard, just with pressing A. Then rectangle, just press R, and then you can start rectangle. Uh, uh, drawing a rectangle, if you press Shift, then it gives you a square, like a proportional square on all sides. Uh, let's enter this. Uh, let's uh, oval or circle, you just press O, and just same as rectangle, you can draw any uh, uh, size in the oval, but if you press shift, then it turns into a circle, perfect circle. Let's change the color so we can see it. There you go. Uh, you press T for text. You just press T and then you type, uh, uh, tap any word and you can start typing. Yes, there you go. Um, now for vector points, sometimes you have you want to do, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, you want to do a, a weird shape, so you just press V and then you can just start adding points just like this. Let's put it here. Let's change the color of the fill around there. Let's bring it backwards so we can see it. There you go. And assume. So assume works a little bit different from Illustrator, from Photoshop and other ones, where uh, on Illustrator and Photoshop, you press the the the, the, the key Z and then it will bring this, the zoom tool. But here you have to hold it. You hold this, the Z uh, uh, key and then you can start zooming. You can drag to do stuff like this or you can just click and then it zooms in. And then if you press uh, command minus, you can zoom out. There you go. So I'm going to zoom in here, just pressing the same tool, just by holding Z, just around there. There you go. And then guides. This is very useful for me. It's, uh, if you want to see the, uh, uh, the distances between objects, you just press the Alt key, and then you know the distance between any object that you have selected, and then you just hover over any other object like this. That's pretty simple, pretty good, pretty useful. For example, here I have 399 from this layer to this, and then you can do it from any layer. Pretty cool stuff. And then uh, grouping, same as always, Command-G, and then you group. Now we have a group, this is a group. I press Command-Shift-G, and then groups. And then uh, duplicating, for example, I'm going to group this, and I'm going to duplicate just by pressing, uh, I can press Alt and drag. By pressing Alt and drag, I can duplicate or just pressing Command-V. Command-V, and now there's a copy there. See it? Now there's two. Okay, I'm going to delete that. And then edit for enter. Uh, uh, enter for edit, sorry. So I just press Enter, and now I can edit the points of any shape or uh, any other layer. Cool, so some those are basic shortcuts. And now I'm going to teach you uh, some uh, not very known shortcuts that I really, really like. For example, it's very useful, a color picker. Sometimes you just want to pick the color of, uh, of an object. So for example, here, you just press uh, Control C. I'm going to select uh, here on the demo, Control C, Control C, and now I can pick the color anywhere. I'm going to pick this color, and now it has the color. It's pretty useful, right? And then copy style. This is also very useful too. Sometimes you just want to, not just the color, but you want to copy the whole style. For example, on this little guy, I want to uh, copy the border. It, you can see that it has a fill and it has a gradient and you can, it has a border and it has a shadow. So a lot of things that this element has in the styling. And you can save this as a chair style, but sometimes you just want to copy and paste it. So for example, on this one, you just want to first copy the style and then paste the style. So to copy the style, you just press Alt Command Command C, Alt Command C. I copy the, the style now, and I can select any uh, shape, and I can press press Command Alt V, and now I can paste the style. That's pretty cool, right? And this works also on text. So, for example, this one is style. It has some. Uh, it, 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 it is underlined. It has a color, and it's a weight, uh, a bold weight, and the typeface is Arial. So I want to do the same with this uh, one. So I'm going to first copy the style. Alt Command C. And then I'm going to paste it over here, Alt-Command-V. Cool. So yeah, this is pretty useful. Copy and paste style by pressing Alt-Command-C and Alt-Command-V. And then zooming. So we know about zooming by holding Z, but sometimes you want to like uh, get rid of all these uh, tools because you're uh, presenting for review or for something. You just you don't want to show the layers and all this stuff, right? So you just press Command uh, and, and period. 
and then boom, you enter presentation mode. And sometimes you want to zoom in into all, you want to see all the elements that are at center of the canvas and all the elements that you have in your canvas. So you just press command one and then it centers there. But here it looks like it's, I'm centering on the artboard, but it's actually on the all the elements. So if I had another element over here and I press command one, it will center the canvas and uh, all the elements that are present. So I'm going to delete that. And then something really cool too, for example, if I want to zoom just on this, I press command two, and boom, I zoom there. Zoom selection. It's pretty cool. Command, pl command, uh, period, command one, and command two. Pretty useful. I'm going to exit this by pressing command period again. I exit presentation mode. And I'm going to uh, show you another one, which is pretty useful too, selecting a layer below and selecting a layer above. And this is just by pressing, uh, uh, selecting one element, uh, one layer, and then pressing tab. And this will select a layer below. For example, here in my demo, I want to select the circle or this rectangle. But to select it, it's pretty hard, right? Because you will have to like probably select this and then deselect this. And now I have that selected, right? Because since this layer is on top of all the elements, it's really hard to select it unless I, I go here on my, uh, on my layers list and I can select them from here. But sometimes I just want to select it from here from the canvas. So I can press select one layer, that, the layer that is above, and I press tab. And then it selects the layer that is below that. And then if I press tab again, it selects the layer that is below that. And if I press shift tab, it will do the opposite. It will select the one that is above. Pretty useful stuff. Sometimes you have layers that are overlapping and it's really hard to get to them. Uh, so I would recommend using that. And it's pretty simple, just tap. Another thing that is really useful is uh, arranging layers, uh, bringing uh, forward and bringing uh, to front or bringing backwards or bringing it all the way to the back. So for example, this guy, uh, if I wanted to bring it forward, I will have, have to probably move it over here on the arranging layers, right? I, I could just like move it over here and now it's on the top. But I mean, sometimes you just want to be able to control these things with your keyboard. So to do that, it's really easy. Well, it's a little bit complicated. It's a, three keys, but once you get uh, used to it, it's pretty easy. So for example, here, if I wanted to move it forward. I just press Command Alt and then the arrow key, the up arrow key. And I go one layer above, one layer above, and one layer above. And I do the opposite with the down arrow key. I go one layer below, one layer below, and one layer below. And sometimes I just want this guy to go all the way to the front. So I use a combination of Control, Option, Command, and up and down. And now I can go all the way up and down. Also, another keyboard shortcut that you can use is that, that I use a lot too. It's just like you you have the tool over here. If you have it on your uh, tools layers, you can bring it forward or bring it backward here, right? And you can just start clicking. But sometimes you just want to bring it all the way to the front. So you press Alt. And then here, see how it changed to front? And you can just click on it and it brings it to front. So if you don't want to press all these keys, you can do this keyboard shortcut over here where you combine a keyboard shortcut and also a tool over here. That's cool, right? Okay, so that's it. Uh, leave in the comments, uh, uh, what is your favorite or more useful sh keyboard shortcut on Sketch? And share with us. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments too. Thank you.